morning world it's me doing a vlog shock horror i've just got dressed right this is <laughs> this is my dilemma okay i talked about this online i often see people doing you know day in the life type vlogs and they're not the most interesting in so far as people don't do a lot it's just a day in someone's life but I really do think that my life is probably a lot more boring. I work from home, my day consists of work, gym, possibly Tesco's as a treat if I'm, you know, feeling adventurous. And who wants to see that? But let's see, this is just, I've literally just picked up the camera. Um, <laughs> I've got a case of uh, keeping up with the Joneses somewhat because I heard one of my neighbours cutting the grass and um, this is my grass so it really needs doing so I've got dressed which is a miracle in itself because it's actually before 10 o'clock but um, yeah let's see what we get up to today I suspect it'll be dollars but you never know yeah I do it will be so I just thought I would show you my office setup. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> a blanket, cushions, and my laptop. Jeremy Kyle isn't on, I should point out. Over here is an actual desk. But let's just see what crap we've got on it. Here is my fruit bowl. <laughs> it's got chocolate and nuts in it and some maple syrup. Um, I was going to do like um, some raw energy protein type balls <laughs> but uh, that was six weeks ago and I never got around to doing it. Assorted wires, that is my favourite, good vibes only. This is actually my day job, this is who I work for, this is one of my clients anyway because I'm freelance. Um, <coughs> smile there Jean. I like to work here. I don't know when perhaps when I got a big project on and I feel more organized so that's where I should work that's where I am working this week now I live in a rented house so um, I love it but it's not obviously decorated at all it's very old and the kitchen is really small so um, I am really limited in what I can do in here. I really want to do some cooking videos but I'm not quite sure how that would work. Um, you know, I don't have some great big island that I can um, sort of demonstrate things on. What I do have is a very old pan where I um, uh, broke Dexter's eggs this morning. So that's my kitchen, small. But it'll do this is the dining room that we never sit at I do spend lots of time in the garden it's a lovely garden um, so it kind of goes round there just need some TLC really let me go round the corner because it wraps around that fence can often prove problematic when I'm sunbathing in the garden because people walking past can see me but it doesn't seem to bother me oh this was disgusting let me just tell you a nice story here right see that bin just turn you around right this is going to make me sound like an absolute peasant I'm not I promise you I'm not that much of a peasant so um, there's only two of us that live here we don't create a huge amount of rubbish, perhaps one or two bags a week. And um, it's been day yesterday, so I went to take the bin out of, or the bag out of the bin, and noticed maggots crawling between, oh, it just, oh, it's disgusting, between the bin liner and the bin. And I think it must be, because we don't produce a lot of rubbish, you know, the, the bin liner probably is there all week. And um, because of the heat we've had recently, oh my God, you should have seen me yesterday. It was disgusting. I bleach everywhere, I brought it all out, like just touching everything like that. Oh, and one of the maggots dropped onto the, 
<laughs> dropped onto the kitchen floor. So I ended up having to hoover the entire house because I just had this vision that somehow a maggot would get upstairs. <laughs> so at least the house is clean. Um, and I've left the bin out all night. It's quite possibly the rankest story I've ever told, which is saying something. Yeah. Maggots, horrible creatures. Let's do some cleaning. While I'm tidying up, I just thought I'd show you some of the um, pictures I've got on my sideboard. It's a bit messy. So, that there. Oh, look. <laughs> this one. This is me at 15. That hair, though, it's very George Michael, isn't it? This is one of my favourite pictures. This is... Um, my nan and granddad and me on holiday must have been about two there i think florence and harry lovely love that ah this is another lovely one this is um that's my mum on her wedding day and what's lovely is that's her best friend they were friends since they were 15 both born on exactly the same day and now um, Auntie Roma's daughter on the left is my best friend and we were each other's bridesmaids and we've just been best friends forever. So that's nice, that's nice. That's my certificate for my degree. Oh, there's some real shockers here. This is a little collage that my best friend made for me for my 40th birthday, I think. Um, yeah. As you can see, that's kind of in my clubbing days. Oh, that's when I was her bridesmaid. That there, if it'll focus, that's me when I was 15. God, I was fit. I'm trying to get back to that body. Um, focus, ah, oh, that's me and baby Ben, don't know what I'm doing there, <laughs> check out that hair, <laughs> yeah, moving on, that's about it, and just assorted crap that everybody probably has, it's a random stranger outside my house, what's he doing? Oh, he's got a bag out. Yeah, we know what he's doing. Ugh. At least he's picking up after himself, right? God. Children's rubbish everywhere. Anyone else have this issue? Oh, and look. The game's always left out. So annoying. I literally spend half of my life putting these away. Ridiculous. Welcome to my world, people. See, I told you it'd be boring. <laughs> In the next instalment of Kate's interesting life, I have to use these in a couple of rooms in my house. One in the um, hallway because it gets full of like black mold uh, not quite sure why because there is an airflow I always have a window open and one in the um, where I keep my fridge bought these bulk from Amazon how exciting this, this is my life summed up right here welcome to this week's edition of cooking eggs in a small kitchen with Kate Take one frying pan, put the gas on. I always use, <laughs> I can't get in shot. I'm not gonna set myself on fire. <laughs> um, I could never get on with fry light when I was on Slimming World, so I just use this, which is um, just Tesco's spray oil. Couple of squats. Mm, 
you don't need much and a non-stick pan voila So the chances of me breaking the eggs are quite high. I don't have a great track record, but let's have a look. <laughs> Voila, very simple and boring breakfast done in less than two minutes. Oh God, what am I talking about? Bear with, bear with. Okay, so it's now 20 past 11. This is the time of the day where I really struggle with trying to motivate myself to get to the gym. Um, if I go now, it's really quiet, but equally it's quite easy just to stay at home all day. So normally what I do to get myself semi-motivated is put my face on. I don't put much makeup on. Oh, that's a bit close, sorry. Um, this is where I do it. Sorry it's so untidy. <laughs> So this used to be Ben's room. Let's keep my dresses in there. Like oh, Ben's room, as you can tell. If you don't know who Ben is, he is my eldest son. He's 22 and is just about to graduate and then leave me forever and live with his girlfriend's parents in Wiltshire. But we don't talk about it because otherwise I'll cry. Oh, this here, by the way, is a pile of clothes um, but also I've got the eBay lady coming round tonight because she sells stuff for me on eBay which means that we split the profits but I don't have to do any of the hard work which is ideal so this is just where I do my makeup just because there's loads of natural light um, and I can watch the world go by so let's just put a bit of slap on You'll be glad to see I've put my face on. Um, my battery ran out, so all I've been doing for the last five minutes, this is my routine, <laughs> was pluck my chin hairs because I just seem to be getting hairier with age, which is just quite revolting. Just on my face though, nowhere else. Just a couple on my chin, just generally quite furry. Um, I saw a video online yesterday of... Um, What's her name? Kay and Nadia. They've got um, like a channel. Oh no, it wasn't them. It was um, Trini Woodall. She had threading done on her face, and I've never had it. I've never had threading done on my eyebrows, um, so I don't know how painful it is. But she had it done on her entire face. But that's definitely food for thought. Um, I cut the length of my eyebrows because. I seem to just be getting more like Dennis Healy as I get older. They just really need taming. On top of the fact that I have to go and get them dyed, that's a new thing as well. Now I have to cut them because they get so long. Just kind of come out at right angles, so that's nice. Did this all while listening to Harry Styles' new album. So I'm having a real crisis in my life at the moment. Um, it's just what happens when... I won't say when you get into your 40s, but well, I'm 46, it's kind of like the latter end of your 40s. Things start to go a bit tits up, except your tits are going down. <laughs> Here we go, the highlight of my day. We're off to Tesco's. So I'm home from my trip to Tesco's, 
Here's an interesting story that wasn't embarrassing at all. Let me sit down. So, in order to bring you a real flavour of my local Tesco's, I just thought I'd put my camera in the trolley um, and just film, just going around a bit, not filming anybody, just, um, just Tesco's. And when I went to collect my trousers, I'd kind of forgotten that the camera was in the trolley at all but it certainly wasn't pointed at anyone in fact I think it was pointed away from the lady I was talking to half an hour later as I left the store I was pulled aside by one of the managers who in his defense was very nice very polite um, to say can I ask if you were filming one of our sales assistants <laughs> I was mortified I said no I wasn't you could see I'm not filming um, I was glad he didn't ask why I had a camera because I just didn't want to get into it to be honest but um, I said you could have just asked me earlier and he said well I didn't want to disturb you I felt like an actual shoplifter it was ridiculous and I won't be doing that again so that's a lesson learned and after just going into Tesco's um, just to pick up Dexter's trousers I ended up buying all of this so I just thought I'd show you what I bought it's not really interesting they're interesting they're really nice i've never checked how many calories i think 250 oh 180 183 calories and it's kind of it just hits the spot of chocolate and ice cream if you have got calories spare or you're not watching your weight so i thought i'd buy these for my makeup just because it's so sweaty that um when i put eyeliner on it just goes halfway down my face this i'm really liking at the moment I do get the medium to dark skin one but it's just like a moisturizer with fake tan in it so it's actually quite subtle um, and it doesn't go patchy so that was on special offer just some hand wash toothbrush for Dexter because his looks like it's been eaten by some rabid animal these we both like and um, they're the thin bagels um, I think they're a hundred calories 130 calories each I don't have mine with butter but it's nice if you just want a little bit of carbs these are new for me they're like rice cakes but corn cakes I thought I'd have those for lunch batteries running out mini wraps because they're only 100 calories never bought this in my life but weirdly fancied it same with that so I'm gonna have that for lunch perhaps with a couple of pieces of this chicken these meatballs, I get these turkey ones for Dexter because um, they're lower in fat. I, at the moment, have steak every day with salad. Rocket, I always eat. This is a bit of a guilty treat as well because they're so bad for you, but delicious. Right, I've decided to come to the gym and I uh, was going to cycle, but it's actually raining. Here's the proof. So I'm in the car, but at least I'm going. Well, I might end up in McDonald's, but I will try not to. I'll try to go to the gym. I made it to the gym. The weather is awful. It's about four o'clock. Hopefully, it'll be quiet. Um, we'll soon find out. Between you and me, I have a very addictive personality. I don't mean I'm addicted to crack, <laughs> but I am addicted to halloumi at the moment. I tend to eat the same chocolate over and over again just until I get bored. My chocolate bar of choice at the moment is a star bar because I keep wanging on about it. And every day, probably for the last two weeks, I've had steak for dinner. It's not very good for me to have um, red meat that much. I know that, but it does stop me from getting a takeaway, so I'm taking that as a win. I have it with a little bit, quite a, no, not quite a lot, a couple of slices of halloumi. Sometimes I have like um, a little pita bread or a wrap and lots of rocket. So it's dinner time, that's what I'm gonna do now. to 
show you how perfectly I've done that steak for medium. So I've let it rest, you can see there's some juice come out. Cut it into slices. Vegetarians look away. That's perfect, just gonna add some salad and we're done. Now you know why I have it every day. I think I'll probably end it here actually. Um, I've no idea what this video is gonna come out like, but hope you liked it. Um, I might do another one if you did. It'd probably be as interesting as this one, but it's nice to chat anyway. It's nice to um, pick up the camera again and uh, hope to see you all soon. Bye. Well done.